Good, Good morning. morning from the high seas. It's the last day. It is wavy <laughs> outside. It's kind of gray outside. It is. It's gloomy. Dee is dressed in black. I'm mourning the, the loss of Alaska. No, I'm just kidding. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. I'm really sad. I love Alaska. You guys know if you followed our 2019 19. series how much this place means to me. So. Yeah. Oh, it's anyway. gonna be an emotional day. It is. No, no, it's fine. I've, we've got to experience so many we amazing did. things we that Alaska good. You don't see every day, so we're very grateful for those opportunities. Yay! Uh, right, we're gonna go to brunch now. Last yeah. chance for C Day brunch. We're all checked in. I think it actually just buzzed. Well, the table might not be ready yet, but it says under a ten minute wait. Sweet. So we're gonna go wait and eat some brunch and then do some stuff. In yeah. Place. And then we have to pack. <laughs> and bye. bye. It's very vibrating back here. I hear it's audibly vibrating. <laughs> That's it. That's all the story I had to tell. A few people were kind of looking around nervously, but I think that's just part of the, you know, engines of being in the back. Oh. <laughs> What in the world? We've stumbled across, we've almost literally stumbled across bocce ball, I think. Yeah, they've got a luggage tag pickup over there. All right, we got a few things that we need to knock out on this last sea day. Like we have to use our free play in the casino. Yep. We've got to go get our stuff from the photo gallery. Uh-oh, let me stop before I <laughs> enter the casino. So I guess we'll burn up our free play now, which is a loyalty perk for platinum diamond and all that kind of stuff. Sure. Want some money. We'll let you know how it goes. It all. I don't know. I know. No recording in the casino yeah. when it's open, I know. Is it marked? They don't have a sign saying that here, but I We're guess... We're not gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. All right, the only time I'll remotely record now in the casino is to talk about how much we love Icy Strain Point. It is the best. Y'all, we won at the casino for the first time in ever. We went up to the uh, window to get our free play loaded onto our cards, and he gave us $25 each in cash. So we are taking it and running. We didn't even play. <laughs> now we are... You tripped on air. We're heading into the photo gallery now, which you're probably not supposed to record in either, but we got to pick up our VIFP loyalty gift, uh, our something, our pin. Anyway, there we go. We got two pins and two VIFP club luggage tags. Now we'll just camp out by a window for a while. We're trying to give the steward enough time to clean our room this morning. So we're staying out. Well, while we're stalling for time, let's come take a peek in the nightclub if we can. We did not make it in here when, you know, it's actually open. But hey, just pretend. The club is jumping. Everything's bumping. Gigantic Frankenstein overlooking yeah. the dance floor. He does look like a chef Frankenstein. Well, I think a chef's table in here. Oh, that's interesting. I don't, yeah, I think they do. Frank is exceptionally tall. <laughs> wow. It's probably really dark. That's awesome. See if you can turn on the floor, like the dance floor lights up and stuff, if I remember correctly from the Pride. Ooh, wow. Yeah. I don't know why I'm doing disco. Frankenstein is really into disco music. <laughs> oh, this is heartbreaking. They've got signage for silent disco, but we did not see silent disco happening right now. That is like one of our favorite things. Look at all those cozy seats down there, too. A little ramp. Frankenstein's big old noggin. All right, enough of this Frankensteining. Oh, it's really cool and echoey right there. Oh, okay, moving on. Next up on the list of places we have not explored yet is Nick and Nora's Steakhouse. Look at that pink gloriousness and that see-through staircase. We went to one on the legend, though. It's very similar. It is. Look at all these views. Oh, that's right, this is where they do like the Glacier Brunch. That was a cool idea. Very pink in here though. Ooh, it looks windy out there. They're doing all right. They are. 
They do have those clear steps that lead up from Lido on deck nine. I like them. And, uh, you don't have to use them because obviously we rode the elevator all the way up, but it's exciting. Now, we're continuing to collect areas of the ship we haven't been yet. We may as well go all the way down to deck one yeah. to the comedy lounge. It's not that there's not a lot to do. It's just on Alaska cruises, you're a little more active, so True. you tend to go to bed. Plus, the time change is weird at first to get used to. We have oh, no yeah. excuse. We've been here two weeks. But We lost an hour last <laughs> night. That's my excuse. There's a lot to do, actually. They have jam packs and stuff, so yeah. just oh, didn't get to do everything. Oh, well. Let's go peeky peek. Oh, it's dark. I know. We're in a cave now. <laughs> Oh my gosh, one-eyed bear. You, my one-eyed bear. Do you remember when? No. Funny, we used to always stay in 1114 down here because it was just outside the uh, comedy club entrance. I remember those days. Cool. Yeah, we got to do a cooking demonstration in here, I think one time. Not here. On a different ship, obviously. So Mad Hatter's Ball. Yep, all set up for an art auction right now. I mean, just look at this theming. There are the stairs that come down from deck two. Painting the rose is red. Oh my, I just now saw all of the giant statues on the wall. Hearts on the tables, hearts on the chairs. I mean, when they commit to theming on these ships, they commit to the theming. You have to give them that. And there is a comedy stage back there somewhere. There it is. These poor turtles are trapped in glass. What did anybody ever do to them? And this either, that's a really small whale or those are some gigantic turtles. That's so cute. Was that the piece of art you'd bid on? Yeah, that one. <laughs> yeah, I know, either one. Back whale, the what about the cute, They're very cute. you know. They're and large then. They are. So we have been all over the place. Uh, we've been here and we've been here and then we went here. Oh yeah, here's one place we haven't been. Salon, spa, fitness, psh, nobody needs that. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Scandalous. <laughs> this lady has not masked up in the elevator. <laughs> so on deck nine here at Forward, we do have the Venus Salon. What if they let me peek in here? Guys, are we allowed to look in here? Oh, wow, this is fabulous. You can come in here and get all your hair done. What's that? Nails and massage and what? There's like reflections of naked people, reflections of me. That's amazing. Here is the spa. Oh yeah, you can look to learn about your feet. I don't know that this is a Cloud9 branded spa, even though they've got the Cloud9 video going. Hmm. All right, we got official permission to come wander through. I mean, I think you can, but we just thought it would be nice to ask. Treatment rooms. Oh, I see the entrance to the gym over there. What is this? This is like a little waiting, waiting area relaxation type room. Oh, there's the relaxation room. Because we're weird and we don't explore things. Gymnasium. What? This is a very pretty gym. Gosh, what's up there? Mystery. Oh, it's weights and stuff. Ooh, all sorts of machinery that I know nothing about, of course. They've got all the treadmills that look out over the ocean. So you can pretend you're a whale leaping across the waves. This will be the most thorough semi-gym tour we've ever done. We're trying to find, we know this class of ship has the big whirlpool that I think anybody can use because this is not a Cloud 9. Like These are closets. Let's don't go in there. <laughs> All right, well, we just got the intel that they do not have that whirlpool on this ship. Put an emergency exit. Oh, I don't want to use an emergency oh, exit. Yeah. All right, let's go the other way. So, no whirlpool. I don't know. It's on the deck map, so I don't know if they removed it or what. But anyway, good to know. <laughs> oh, look at that wind. We are so dressed for outside. Funny thing is, they've got some activities coming up out here. They're doing fun in the sun games. No, it's in the covered part. Oh yeah, it's not going to be in this open part, no. I'm sure. So some Lido activities. I think the groove for St. Jude is today. Like you outside things. You got ping pong. Whoa. I think the addition of like wind to ping pong is probably a very bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> 
came up to try to go look at the mini golf course, but I don't think the mini golf course is happening right now. Uh, you would love Let, let's go in that door back there, shall we? I believe I can fly. Oh my gosh. Oh no, we're stuck. We're stuck forever. This is like a hurricane. Holy water spots. The lens has water. I have water. That was exciting though. So no mini golf, no water park. We're not exploring any of that right now. All right, we are on a lunch mission now. One thing we have not had on this trip yet is pizza. So I think we're gonna get some pizza and there's also a chocolate buffet happening, which we rarely do, but chocolate sounds good. Lido. There are our pizza choices and a salad choice. That's what we're here for, some chocolate buffet action. Okay, we've got some prosciutto pizza. Is that what that one is? Yeah, they don't have any arugula. Oh, oh no arugula. Yeah. Fungi. Peanut butter cake with like a little chocolate mousse. We got some chocolate fruit and a blackberry chocolate cake and some lemonade. Boom. We've come back to the cabin after a successful lunch. And now it's probably not whale spotting time, but you know what? We can try. Time to run down to the atrium now for some fun. Ooh, I hear 80s music. There was 80s trivia party thingamajigs. She's almost done with the questions. Oh my gosh, let's take a peek. So this is the 80s music themed trivia party where basically they play some songs, but it just turns into a crazy party. You know, go for the answers right now. And you think you know the answers, shout it out. Is currently going on. Saddest time of any cruise. Oh no. Especially in Alaska cruise where you only get to go like in the summer because that's the only time you can really cruise to Alaska. It's packing time. And I can never make it fit how I had originally had it. So. I think that, that's always how it goes. And we're flying so that's fine. Yeah. Whee! The whales have proven elusive thus far today. But we are determined. I don't know if that makes a difference, but determination is key. And having whales in the area, that is also key. It's the secret to seeing whales is to have whales around. Fun fact. We are passing by Canada right now, so we have to see if the Canadian whales are feeling friendly today. Another fun fact, don't look for whales in the sky, even though the skies are actually kind of nice and blue. The seas have mellowed out nicely. Maybe we're in for a lovely evening. There's a very small whale that's shaped like a bird or a stick or an otter or something. How goes the packing? Hopefully better than the whale watching. <laughs> Almost done. I just have toiletries and what I'm wearing tonight, and that's about it. Nice. Hey, Hi again. It is evening time, and that means it's dinner, dinner time. Dinner time. Last dinner. I know. I feel like all we did was eat and pack and do a little work, and then eat and pack and look for whales. I think it's true, actually. I know, but um, I saw zero whales. Me too. Um, I think they're done going this way. Maybe. Maybe. Or they're still eating, and then they'll go after we're done and then they'll be in Hawaii. They could, <laughs> so maybe we'll see them in Hawaii, fingers crossed, if we get to be back on the maybe. Miracle in January. Hopefully, that'd be awesome. 
They're all packed back oh, there in the corner. So sad. Very sad. I have not started yet, but I'll do that later. I got plenty of time. Oops. Always. All right, so we're gonna go to dinner in the dining room, mm -hmm. and we're gonna see a show. One of our favorite older shows yeah. is tonight. Do I say what it is? It's 80s, 80s pop, pop to the max. max. It's really good. Love I like that, that one. But let's roll out. Yep. We've got our very last cans of Pepsi taking them to dinner with us. This cruise was an absolute delight. Uh, now, first of all, let me ask you this: How did you enjoy the warm chocolate mountain cake this week? Why? No, it's the sad song. Oh no! There is live music all over the place, but we are heading to the show. Tonight's show, it's all the music of, I think, the best era ever. We're taking you back to the 1980s. back to the cabin we don't have a get off our ship heart as carnival likes to give us we got like this long necked goose long yeah like i say long necked but that's just not good <laughs> and he's he doesn't understand how to work a remote but that's fine it's backwards <laughs> buddy sweet we got our monkey still in our well, that's true i think our hippo thing whatever that thing is. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, suitcase, my old friend. <laughs> what it is. It is time for me to pack my yeah. suitcase. Time to go to bed. Call it a night. We got an early start tomorrow. We did something dumb. Semi weirdly <laughs> foolishly booked like a 10 10 flight out of Seattle. I now, never recommend that client, no. so I'm not sure why. This one hey, did it. It was either 1010 10 tomorrow or 1010 10 the next day. So rather than spending a whole what we, day, we do. Hopefully, we'll make our flight. We're, yeah. we're we have high status at the carnival, so we do get to be one of the first off the ship. Yeah. Luckily, so we we'll should see. And we, we our meeting 
time is seven o'clock. So we'll yeah. see how that goes. But Hopefully. Yeah, normally I'd say nothing earlier than like 11. But we're also TSA yeah. pre-check, so that does shave a yeah. little bit of time off. We are Just checking a bag. Wish us luck by the time you see this. Hopefully we're home. <laughs> yeah, no, you'll already know our story because it'll be on socials. But anyway, we're going to say good night. Yeah, thank you now. guys for joining us in Alaska. Uh, we'll say bye in the morning. Oh, yeah. With breakfast and stuff. But good night for now. <laughs> good night. Here comes the morning. Good morning. Good morning from Seattle. We are right officially in back. Actually, it's not even bright. It's just early. Yeah, that's true. It's like <laughs> six thirty or some such yeah. mess. But anyway, um, good morning again. Good morning. We've already had breakfast. Mm -hmm. We're getting ready to head to the piano bar. We're supposed to meet there around seven o'clock yep. for um, like Diamond get off the ship early, <laughs> so we can make our flight. Yeah, that would be good. <laughs> that's all I know. It was We've amazing. Had a fun time. Yeah, we love Alaska. Yeah. Want to come every year. The staff's been great. The food on here. Just wanted to update you who watched the 2019 series. The oh food gosh. is really good. It really is. On the Miracle. So, no complaints whatsoever Much on better. anything. Much better than Legend. <laughs> we see you, Legend. Uh, yeah. But I think that's it. Everything yep. has been pretty so awesome. Good. I can't think of anything negative to say other than we didn't see whales yesterday. Well, I mean, it's nature. But we did have an amazing time. We saw whales in the wild. Just not on the ship on this time. I'm gonna write carnival. There were no whales on day <laughs> seven. Anyway, all right, we're gonna roll. Yes. And we're gonna see y'all later. Thanks I guess for we'll joining. do the official outro. Thanks mm -hmm. for hanging out with us. If you have not already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Become a paromaniac today. Socialize all our media: Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Yep. And until next time, rock, rock on. on. And now it's time for in the shower with Jay. Carnival Miracle Edition. This looks a lot like other cruise ship showers we've had before, but let's go ahead and dig in. So it is a nice corner unit with a little bit, it's not the super cut cut rounded, it's got a little bit of oomph oomph to it to give you, you know, some booty room or something. Shower curtain model, of course. Shampoo and shower gel in the unit. Little teeny tiny tray, you're not gonna put a lot of snacks there, but you could put a couple of apples or something, who knows. Adjustable shower head that is removable. It points to the wall. It slides up and down. It does all sorts of fancy things. And a clothesline for convenient drying. The knobs are pretty easy to understand. They have numbers. The lower the number, the colder your water, the higher the hotter. And of course, on off. We won't demonstrate that right now. Let's get in here. Gotta make sure it's tucked all the way around the corner. And then you have to look down. Yes, I'm pretend showering in socks. Make sure that everything is in line or you will get water out in the bathroom, which is no fun. So not terrible. I just ran into the wall. Um, I appreciate the nice high shower head. The water pressure has actually been pretty good. You can do a full on spin in here, but of course, shower curtain models are never that fun because they tend to get a little friendly. Nobody wants that kind of friendly in the shower, you know what I mean? do a full circle not gonna get much side to side no Ariana Grande action in here or whatever it's not terrible though let's open the shower curtain so we're not so echoey I guess we're gonna give it a rating it's probably identical to a shower that I've rated in the past so editing Jay check that spreadsheet nice